Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new painting tutorial and this time we are going to paint this Fulminator. So we are going to paint the the dracos of the Fulminator in uh, green colors and then yeah, the rest um, will come later. So in this first part we are going to focus on the dracos and um, this has been primed in white and what I'm going to use now is the Ogwin Camo to do the and here it is this color we are going to use this one to do the base coat on the skin so we are going to do all the skin including the parts where we have scales so I'm going to apply this we try to go quite thin and we apply this over all the skin okay so I'm doing that we can see as you can see here a thin coat uh, even in the part where we have scales I will cover the head and everything Okay, the only thing that I will not cover, because it's not it, is the armor plate, of course, and this type of claws and yeah, horns. I will not cover the horns, neither the back spine, uh, big things, okay, so the spikes. So I'm going to do that, and I'm back for the ones this has uh, been applied and dry. Okay, next step. We are going to apply military green over all the skin. Okay. We're going to take a brush. We are going to apply this over all the skin and scales. You can avoid the spikes if you want because they will go in a different color but be sure that the base of the spikes is pick up if you're dipping out the armor it's not a problem and we go over that okay so we are going to apply this there will be belts that you will cover it's not a problem okay this will be pick up later on the important thing is to have a nice and even coat of this military green to have this nice green done okay so I'm going to do that over all the skin parts as you can see here you can see how nice the the texture is being picked up okay so I'm going to do this over all and I'm back for the next step Okay, next step I'm going to use Incubi Darkness and with that I'm going to paint all the horns, claws, spikes that it has. Okay, so I have it here in my wet palette. So we start with, for example, with the claws. We are going to paint all these claws with Incubi Darkness. Okay, it's a very dark green. And I think it will give a different touch. Normally we like we make these things in ivory colors or black colors. I think giving a greenish color is also something that can be interesting. So we are going to do this on the claws and on this type of on the big spikes that he has on the legs and the back. Okay, so we're going to do them. Not the scales, because the scales we are going to do them in a purple color. Okay, so I'm doing that. As you can see here. And I'm back for the next step. Okay, next step I'm going to use Morphan Brown. Okay, this color. We are going to do the belts. I'm doing this first, because the belts are uh, ones uh, some are on, under the valley and places where it's difficult to reach so I prefer this to know and then I will be almost able to glue the miniature. I'm just doing the, the colors that are coming in the legs and the belly sort of to make easier my life to paint them then being able to put the to glue the miniature on the base because it's much 
much more comfortable to, to use it. Okay, so I'm doing all these belts with more from brown and I'm back for the next step. Okay, next step I'm going to use Gauss Blaster Green to do the this cloth here. Okay, and we are going to do as well this. Again, thin layer. Gauss Blaster Green have a good covering quite nicely. And the, 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 the point of doing this now is because I then I will have as well, this is the difficult part to have access. So you want to at least put the base color before gluing. And later on you just highlight or work on the parts that are visible once the metal is glued on the base. But I recommend to do this before gluing because then later on it's very difficult to have access and sometimes it's even visible but if it, you have applied the base color then you, nobody will notice if it's well highlighted or not okay so I'm doing this and I'm back for the next step okay next step I'm going to use cyber green and we are going to do the armor plates with cyber green okay so we are going to apply it on Except the rims where I want to apply gold or the, the ornaments, we are going to apply the cyber green, and I will do this as well on the rider. Okay, so in this step, we can also do the rider and apply the cyber green on all the parts where we need this color. So, the rider, most likely, we are going to cover very little, except the we are going to cover a couple of things. But a lot of things are the same as we do on the on on, on the back cut. So we are going to do that. So I'm applying the cyber green and I'm back for the next step. Okay, we have done the green here as well on the body of the guy. And now I'm going to use this color. Gen Stiller purple and I'm going to do the scale so I will pink I will pick up each scale and apply as you can see quite thin especially on the scale on, on the scales that are completely full um yeah, they are complete. Not on the ones that have half scale, these ones I will leave it in green. Or you can do some, but I mean, the main objective is to do all these ones, and we are going to do as well the tail. It's okay. So, all the scales in the tail. So, here I'm going to do just as again the middle ones. Gen Stiller purple. Okay, so I do that for all the scales on the dracot and I'm back. Okay, we have done the purple scars, sorry, scars, scales. Next, I'm going to use Retributor Armor, this one, and we are going to do all the gold parts, including on the Rider's Armor. So, we are going to use one of my this brush synthetic brush and we are going to take retributor armor and apply it on all the trimming parts well and the symbols that will go in gold I realizing that the armor is different, the armor plates are different between this dracot and the other one. So this is the main purpose. Okay, to do like that. We do all these golden parts with retributor armor 
again this step does not have too much secret just apply a thin layer carefully and try not to dirt on the parts that we already painted okay so I'm going to do this and I'm back for the next step okay next step I'm going to use the color lilac and I'm going to paint the mouth so I'm going to take this one a bit of moisture more moisture it's a little bit dry okay, my wet palette is starting to get dry again We are going to paint, of course, not with that much paint, the mouth, tongue, brush, and a little bit of glue. We are going to do the, the mouth. I will do it well. This part is visible there. I will do the base of the teeth okay, and of course we are going to fill all the inside okay I like that so I will do that as you can see the tongue as well as I said this will not go purple, but I just want to do the base of the teeth. And okay. To do this. Okay. Like that is okay. Now I'm going to take um, a contrast paint. Um, I'm going to take Voluptuous Pink, this one, and I will do. Less pain, this part in the eye. And I will do the same on the other side. Okay, like that. And next, I'm going to take. XV88 and I'm going to paint the saddle. Here it is. Put a little. It's very divine. 
put some water to moisture. I think I have enough to paint. I don't need to be. So I'm going to paint the saddle, the saddle with XB88. Okay. Again, it's very thin, so this is why I'm I'm not too concerned. And here you don't need to be perfect because this part will be covered by the rider. But I just want to be sure that it's painted and we don't see any mistake later on. So I'm doing that. I'm waiting for this device before doing the next step. Okay. Next step, I'm going to use Aguax Air Shade on the saddle. We're going to start with the washes, and I'm going to start with this one. So we're going to do three washes now. We are going to apply Aguax Air Shade here. Sorry, four washes. Then we are going to use Dwachi Violet on the scams. Okay, so we are doing that. The saddle you don't need to. I just want to do that to be sure in case something is visible. You see a at least a wash to give some. But to be fair, the saddle is very little. It's not almost visible, so don't spend too much time on it. And I just apply this on the saddle. Okay. Now I'm going to use the Vachi Violet on the scales. Okay, this one. And we will do the same on all the scans. So, for example, these ones and the ones in the light. So, I'm going to do this on all the scans and I'm back for the next step. I was forgetting to mention that I will also do, we, we are also going to apply Dutch Violet in the mouth, okay, inside the mouth. So, we are going to be sure. We have a nice wash on all this purple we have applied on the mouth in the mouth. Okay, so I keep doing that. As you can see, I did that, and we are going to do as well these ones here. So I keep doing that, and I'm back for the next step. Okay, next step, I'm going to use Regular Flesh Sheet, and we are going to do all the gold part with this one, including the rider. Okay, so I'm taking this, we take quite a medium sized brush and we start doing that. Okay, we apply this in all on all the gold parts, trying to avoid to go into the green. We don't want to dirt in the green with the so here you want to do the edge a little bit. Then, but be careful with the green part, and we do this on all the gold parts that we have on the armor. Okay, you will see that the the, the letters here start popping up and other details. So 
so let's close it. don't forget this part here neither you can see my way of doing is I start from one side and I do the I go around the back hood and then I will do the rider. Okay, I did a little bit, but it's, if it's just next to the gold, it's not a problem because then we are going to apply then a green wash and the green wash will darken this brown. But try to avoid to go into the green, to the flat areas of the green. Okay. So as you can see I'm doing like that, and now I will do the next armor plate, this one here. And there. And I will keep doing that until I have all the gold done. So I will be doing that with the this device and I'm back. Okay, next step we are going to apply Coelia Green Shade over the all armor okay including the the brown parts and as well the gold so this is going to be we are going to do the same as you can see we are doing the same on the rider okay so what we are going to do is starting from the top normally I like to start from the upper part of the miniature from the top going down we are going to I will watch here everything except the scales and the skin. Okay, and I will not do the light green neither, the ones that I want to do highlight with white later on. But here and then I'm not sure. And we are going to apply this and all over the Le ha quitado el Loki, el Arnau. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? Bueno, vale. So, following with that, we're going to apply. Let me do this side. We have less elements in the, in the middle. So, as you can see, I'm going to apply as well on the gold part. Okay, if you just jump, I will do the neck later on. But you can do like that here. And then carefully, we are going to do the temple. This part. Okay, like that. Trying to be as clean as possible, for example, here. I remember that I forgot this part here. So we will try to be as clean as possible. Let's do this hand. And I will be doing that for the rider and for the steed, okay? So all have to be done with the have to be shaped with the calling green shade. I will do it well for example this brown that we have here. Okay. So as I said everything except the parts that I want in this very light green and the parts where I, I we have done the scales and the skin of the dragon. Okay so I keep doing that and I'm back for the next step. So next step, I'm going to highlight and shade the skin, so I'm going to smooth what we have done. So I will use Death Wall, I will use Ogwin Camo, and I will use Khaki, uh, quick, quick Khaki, okay? These are different tones, and if it's needed, I will use Inkui Darkness if I need to go really, really dark in some areas. Or we can put one color that you can also use to, when you're playing with these browns is to put a little bit of Rhinos height on your and then you use the Rhinos height to make the, the, the greens darker ok, 
Okay, put a little, a, little, a little bit of green sky there. Now we are ready to start highlighting. We we'll try to do a part that is visible. So let's work, for example, on this leg, this back leg here. This is going to be the easier. So I start with the camo, the green camo, and you will see that it's very. It's very the, the difference is very stark now after being after being applied the the contrast paint. So what we need to do, we will need to smooth this using death forest wall. Death death wall forest. Sorry, green. Okay, the darker green. Use the darker green. And even sometimes I will take a little bit of the brown and I mix it directly there. So then you can take the darker green and go over and will match usually. Okay, this is too brown now. So I'm taking there. this one, we'll take this one and clean up the brown and we will be working like that for when it's a, a big skin let me just put some water there it's too thick the uh, camo the all green camo so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply just Fold and now we are going to play it there. And we use again. That's forest. Okay, to do this. We take again the arguing. We sharpen a little bit of our brush. We go around this. The case I go around this um, scales. Sorry, I went a little bit too far. So I will do it like that. Here I was waiting the device. So one thing that you want to correct is we have this this joint here. This quite but I'm applying trainer's height first, and now we'll come with the green. to dissimulate the join like that we see that the join now is less visible now I'm taking again all in camo And I will take this forest. And I keep working like that. Okay, so I will keep doing this and now always doing the 
ask him right and then I will keep you keep balancing the color between the Ogwin camo and the Death Wall Forest. For example, I went to brown, so now I will come with the green camo and I will re remove a little bit the brown. Okay, we keep doing like that. So then, where we apply the Kvihako is going to be in very limited spots. Okay, for example, you do around the, the nails of the clothes. Then, what they say, the green kaki, I don't mean the kaki, the kvih kaki, we are going to reserve it for the most, the highlights that you want to make keep. So now I'm using the khaki, but I will go just I go back to the old wing to make this knee. And here I will do this type of bright strokes to even work on the texture that we already have it. Okay, here the idea is to exaggerate a little bit the texture that we already have on the knee. And again I come back with the death forest, the wood forest and I clean it. Okay and we will do like that all the skin on the Dvakov and I'm back for the next step. Okay, so this is how the skin looks like now. Okay, we have on also the tail. And next step, I put the veggie violet. We are going to use the veggie violet and we are going to edge highlight the. We are going to edge highlight the scales. Like that. Okay. We do like that. Passionately. And if I have as well gin stealer purple in case I need to do some corrections or I want to accentuate some of this. Okay. So we keep like that the tail. We also have some scales to do. And we keep doing. You don't need to do perfectly the edge highlight in all the sides as you can see. I don't do the all the sides of the scale. And if you do a small mistake like I did that, take a little bit of black from the palette. And we do the correction. Okay? But my black is a little bit too dry. Yes. Okay, I will do all the scales and I'm back for the next step. Okay, so this is how now the scales are looking like. You can see now the skin is looking quite nice. Uh, the, the purple is uh, popping up quite nicely. And I'm going to stop here part one and in part two we are going to start doing the details on the armor 
and on the clothes. As I said, I don't talk too much about the the rider because so far what we have done is the same that you do for for the for the armor of the of the the buckles. Okay, you can see the divider will go like that, and it's going to be very pretty similar. Um, I will when I do the cape, I will talk about the rider as well the the helmet is done is, is done in the same way as the armor so i will just explain when i do the quest the glowing and the uh, will have the shield that have also his uh, special thing so i'm going to stop here part one please keep tuned if you want um, for part two uh, i hope i can release it soon but as you can imagine this is taking quite some time to paint it and this is the final result we are going to be looking for okay so this is the one, the other one that is already finished, and this is what we are going to, we, this is what we are going for, okay? So I hope you have enjoyed this one, please give a like if you have liked this video, and as usual, thanks a lot for watching, and see you again later, bye!